Good morning, I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft, and here is a full check of your tropics. Now the wave that I'm monitoring in the Gulf now has an 80% chance of developing um, into a tropical system. So that would be a tropical depression or a tropical storm. It has an 80% chance now over the next two days and the same over the next seven days. And that was the latest update at 7 a.m. this morning. Now the track still has this further south uh, than Houston. So we're looking at more of a South Texas rainy Tuesday and potentially Wednesday at that. Check this out in the open Atlantic. Boy, the latest updates have us now at three tropical storms. And that happened all this weekend. It really started to ramp up, which is about in time, uh, which is right in line with this time of the year. We have tropical storm Franklin, tropical storm Gert, tropical storm Emily. At this point, it looks like Gert and Emily stay in the open Atlantic. Um, Franklin, we will watch a little bit closer, but that track stays a little farther south. Now behind Emily, there's another way. Now it has a 70% chance of developing. So we have a lot of activity to keep up with right now uh, throughout the Atlantic Basin. The next name on the list after Gert is Harold. So we will be watching uh, for that potentially in the Gulf or that wave just off the coast of Africa, which then it would be making four systems in the Atlantic. And this again is right in line with statistics for hurricane season. Now we did have a lull in July, which is typical. And now as we head into mid-August through mid-September, that's when we reach the peak of hurricane season. In fact, September the 10th is the peak of hurricane season. So these storms that are ramping up, that's typically what happens each year. Let's get back to that wave in the Gulf right now. So notice how all models are saying this heads towards South Texas. That is where the bulk of the rainfall will travel. And uh, forecast models are showing that as well. Just south of Corpus Christi, we could see anywhere from four to potentially maybe even upwards of five inches of rainfall in about a two day period. Now, everybody across the state state really, really needs rain. That means us here locally as well as our drought conditions continue to expand. We, over that two day period, I've taken our models here up through about 1030 Wednesday evening. We're looking at maybe a few hundredths to a few tenths of an inch. Not much more than that. The rain chances stay fairly limited. Uh, the Pacific has been active as well. In fact, what was Hurricane Hillary, then Tropical Storm Hillary, is now post-tropical, but it is still expected to bring uh, potentially heavy rain across portions of the West Coast region. So we're monitoring the wind and the rain from that as well. As far as uh, your hurricane updated forecast, your outlook, named storms potentially between 14 to 21 out of those uh, named storms, potentially 6 to 11 as hurricanes and 2 to 5 as major, which would keep us at average to slightly above average activity. We'll keep you posted right here.